Why? What you gonna do? I'm Call me Demon Slayer. Yeah. Execute the shadows. Call me Demon Slayer. It is time. Welcome back to the K-pop deep dive. And today we got Stray Kids, but we're gonna be doing them a little bit differently because in the past when I do these K-pop deep dives, I've been told that this website right here, um, K K profiles, that it has like some misinformation or you know some wrong information um, about members, and I don't really know where to go to look for good information. So when I react to that, I think it's like 52 minute guide. I think that's what I'm gonna get the information from uh, when it comes to these members and also the variety and group shows when I react to them. Uh, so I'm just gonna be, you know, getting into the music, the dance videos, the artist of the month. I think it was Hugin and like a couple other stuff. But um, I do want to look real quick because Bang Chen, uh, Bang Chen, Changbin, Han, Felix, and Hyojin are five members that I can get, you know, like that. Like I I know who's who, but it's just Seungming, Seungmin, and I N and Lino that I'm just like. Like, I can't really point them out in a video. So, hold on, hold on. That's Lino. Okay. <laughs> I know. Lino. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That boy looking, that boy looking dapper. Then we got Seungmin. Okay. And we got I am. Okay, okay. I gotta, I gots to remember them. Because, like, those three are the ones that I just get so confused about. Um, But, yeah. It, let's, let's hop right into the first MV. And hopefully there's, like, a dance practice video to it. I haven't checked, but... It's MV that I haven't reacted to yet. We're going to start off with Stray Kids Easy. And I do want to say I am recording this literally like like 12, like 14 hours before the five star album comes out. Um, this video is going to come out after that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, the album was great <laughs> and fire. Um, but we got Stray Kids Easy. They have not disappointed me from the music that I have heard. So let's go, let's go. What, what do they got? Easy. I gotta get my water. Whoa. Bro, already, yo, yo, listen, listen. I know there's a lot of people who hate when I pause too much. I don't care. I don't. I don't. Yo. Yo. Oh. oh my goodness, hold on. My bad, my bad, bro. I need I need a breather. Han is my bias for a reason. He is my favorite for a reason. He uh, yo, I'm out of breath, bro. You could tell I'm out of shape. <laughs> um he is my bias for a reason. His flow and swagger are just insane. And then Hyojin also killing him with the flows. But they started off like this. And he got like that deeper voice this time. Oh, the deep boys. So that's Lino, right? What is that Lino, yo? No, that, that's that's young. That's young man. It has to be. Like, no, that's Young, that's Young Ming. Like, they got, like, auto-tune, and I always say this, like, auto-tune for me is a hit or miss. If the auto-tune works with the song itself, then uh, it's a hit, you know what I'm saying? But if it's just auto-tune just to be auto-tune, then it's a miss. And this is a hit right here, you know what I'm saying? The auto-tune definitely works for this type of beat, this type of sound that they're going with. 
you heard that voice crack ignore it <laughs> or i'm gonna find you and then <laughs> but they are they're killing it they're killing it they're killing it why are they in a school I'm getting frustrated that I can't. That's Lee. No, it has to be. No, it's not. Why? Why? Why are those three so confusing to me? Are they flowing? Yo. I think I think Cha Chang Bin and and Han have like probably like the two craziest pockets. Uh, I think that's the word when it comes to flow. Their flows are so unique. And as someone who who grew up listening to a lot of rap and a lot of flows and stuff like that. I appreciate that. Like he waited to the end of the sentence and then sped it up to catch up with the beat. That's dope. Yo, his voice is a cheat code. That's I-N, for sure. Hey. Where even, where even are they? Like, they're in like Gerudo Desert? Like, is this Breath of the Wild? Tears of the Kingdom? Where are you? This is in a random desert. That was Xiu Ming for sure. Oh, oh. Yo, why do he dance like that? Wait, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, what is that? With the deep voice, it just... <laughs> why? Oh my goodness. <laughs> they killed that. They killed. I think for me, that they, they, they make a lot of that, you know, noisy type sound, which is <laughs> what I like. Um, but this one just felt I don't know, different. And I think all the songs, like all of their major hit songs, God's Menu, Dunderous, um, Maniac. Um, just a bunch of their their songs. They just sound different. They don't make like the same type noisy sound like the same noisy type sound It's always different and especially with you know, I'm saying that this is recorded before five star I'm um, hearing the s class teasers. That's noisy, but it's also different. So I'm like, how do you do this? You know what I'm saying and and I like shake a lot their energy is fire their rapping is what really really stands out to me I, I love the singing but their rapping is insane um compared to a lot of other groups in my opinion i'm not saying they're better but it just it's i like it more um because the flows are crazier it's it the, the flows they're able to mix it up more um so i really 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 like them they are <laughs> yeah they are insane um i'm gonna see if there's like a, a choreography version or dance practice version of this because I, I have to see it now for the next song i want to revisit the first ever stray kid song that i ever reacted to and to be honest 
I've only heard this song once. <laughs> I remember this song right here only for um, the Felix part and for the do 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 do. Only two parts I remember. I remember getting really really hyped from the song, but like I just never listened to it again. <laughs> like I never put it on my playlist or anything. That was like early early four months ago 14 months ago when i first got into this k-pop reaction stuff and k-pop in general um so i didn't really add anything to my playlist so i've only heard the song once <laughs> so i locate want to revisit it now knowing who most of the members are and, and try to you know recall um this song <laughs> So it's Chang Bin opening up. Okay. Chang Bin. Hold on. Yo, yo, I'm so glad I, I went back to look at this. So it's Chang Bin opening up. I remember the magpies and crows stuff. But it's Han? That's Han? Like, like Han did that? Wait, what? I don't even remember this flow. Ah. I don't even remember this part. I remember this part. I, don't, I completely forgot about the beginning. Oh, I like the cross or the X. Ah, yes, sir. I, I, I don't think I give my props a lot to um, I N Seung Min and um, Lee No. I don't think I give my props to them. Because when it comes to vocals and and Bang Chan and and Han and uh, the other the other members do it too, but for those three specifically, the vocals be hitting like crazy. Like the contrast between the rapping and the singing is so different, but it works when they're together. I don't even know how like how that works. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it just works. I gotta get props. Their singing is so good. Like, that's still insane. I remember I called like as a joke, like the 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 girls in the um, in the school outfits, new jeans. I said, "Is that new jeans?" Um, but someone said that they became their own group. I forgot what it was called, but um, that's hey, good for them. And this part? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause like, I I know that's Ian for sure, but like this is this is Young Min, right? That has to be. Ooh, I like that. Was I in his hand? In this part. See Han be singing too, you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, I forgot about this one. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yo, I just got I just got a heart attack. I for, I completely forgot that Felix just takes over this part. Like what? Like what? Like that's insane. Like this is definitely an interesting first song that I reacted to. Nah, they 
they, they I, I can't wait to watch the dance practice video. They absolutely killed it. And then that lead led to back door. Oh, to back to the back door for real. Straight kids everywhere, all around the world. You make straight kids stay. Get it because their fan base name is Stays. So you guys make straight kids stay. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Yo, I. That, like I'm really really glad that I re-looked at this because there's a lot of parts that I did not remember um, Han going absolutely crazy with the flow Do you not hear this? Like he just casually hit the folks too like look Well they all did Ugh. Like insane and then um Felix completely taking over this part of the chorus, I completely forgot. Like, uh, uh, insane. Hey, 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 we're gonna go into the dance practice. If you want to see my my first ever reaction to this, it's on the channel. But I just wanted to revisit revisit this and then watch the dance practice video. Insane. It's time for the God's Menu dance practice video. I will say that doing these K-pop deep dives. And watching these practice videos or dance practice videos has allowed me to appreciate and like a lot of these dances a lot more. Um, my favorite choreography so far is Itzy in the Morning. Not because they got like the best dancers and the, and the best dance moves, but it's just with the song name and and the dances that they do with like Mafia in the Morning and and the Mafia type dance moves and the the gun type dance moves and the disappearing and stuff like that. It's just insane. I really, really like when choreography fits with the title of the song or the theme of the song. Um, but also if it's fun and cool looking. Um, so that's definitely my favorite. But hey, let's see. Let's see God's Menu. I'm not going to compare it to that, but I just want to see. Because in the MV, they're going crazy. Oh my. They are already moving a lot. Ah. Hit the folks. Ah. Okay, we got the singing part. Yo, this this dance right here is so goofy, bro. It's so cool and goofy at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. I want to see. They are moving a lot. How he walks up. What? He's doing the butterfly thing from like you know if you remember from like elementary school if you were in like gym class the butterfly where like you put your feet like that and you you wiggle your legs like that the butter the butterfly switch is uh, switch the, the butterfly stretch is that what he's doing? Is that what they all doing? The kiss on the floor. Hey. Hey. Uh, I, I had a puzzle to increase the quality because they want to do me dirty. Ooh, they moving with him. I was like, I was gonna say something else after that, but I a burp just came out of nowhere, so I had to hold it in. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> hey, 
and then this. Like what? Like what? You know, I just realized this song is shorter than I thought. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> they killed it. See, see, as a non-professional dancer, I can't really describe like stuff when it comes to the dancing, but I, I got three categories. We got hand dancing, we got footwork dancing, and we got in the middle. And I think that this was more of in the middle. There's some uh, choreographies when it comes to K-pop where it's mostly the hands that are the star of the show. The hands or the upper body. And then the um, the, some where the, it both work. Where they're moving around a lot and they're using their hands. Which is what I described this. And then sometimes it's just the footwork. Um, so they were moving around a lot. There wasn't a lot of footwork type moves going on. But they were moving around a lot. And then using their hands a lot. That's how I describe it. Um, but they killed it. They killed it. The energy was there. Especially for a song like this, the energy was there. I think the moves really, really fit. Especially with um, Felix's part at the, in the chorus. Where, or after the do, 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 do. The second one. Where like, da -na, da -na, da -na, uh, like that just works. Like when, like I said, when choreography is re it really, really implemented or, or integrated with the song itself. Da -na, Dana, dana, uh, like, uh, like it just works. It just works. Um, but yeah, they they killed it. They killed it. All right. Next, we got Stray Kids Domino. Um, there's no MV for this. I know there's a dance practice video. We're definitely gonna see that. But we got the lyrics right here. I want to see who's uh, who's part or who's singing what or who's rapping what. If one of these, like, if the lyric people or the people who made this uh this video got any of them wrong. Let me know in the comments, but hey, I'm excited. I'm pretty sure, and I might be wrong on this, this is one of their more popular B-sides. Um, so, hey, let's go. Let's go. Why? I can't get a build-up? <laughs> it's literally five seconds in, and he said one sentence already. What? Oh my goodness. Pizza? <laughs> I'm sorry. He said, what? Ding, 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 pizza? Mmm, like a franchise store. What? Yo, any Stray Kids song where Chang Bin opens up, which is like most of the ones that I've heard, I already know it's about to be a banger. Like, what? That flow's insane. Oh, oh, Galino rapping. Yo, what is this beat? What is this happy type beat? Oh, hold on, we go from boom, 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 boom to like what? I'm just, I'm still in shock from Lee No and I Am. Where they were rap, they were rap singing, sing rapping, like insane. Okay, let me run it back one more time, one more time. I think that I'm allowed to do this specifically for this song. Okay, you not hear it? That was insane. Oh my goodness, that flow is insane. Alright, what do you got, Bang Chan? Ah! This, this happy type beat.
What's this chorus sound like? Yo, I got my glasses dirty. The beat is like a domino. Do you know how the It's like when the dominoes hit each other. Insane. And you know what I like? And see, this is this shows you that I'm paying attention. See, some K-pop songs will go domino and let the beat play. But they go domino, 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 domino. So instead, instead of saying domino once and then letting the beat play and they do like their dance or whatever. They fill in that blank with domino, 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 domino. Like that's, it's just little things like that that you notice that just adds to the song and shows their uniqueness. Insane. Stop, Felix. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Han, please don't kill me, okay? Please, just, just you know, have a good flow. Don't have a uh, 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 really good flow. If you have a really good flow, you're going to kill me, okay? So, hey, just have a, you know, a good flow. You know, we can go through the song, you know, normally. I won't, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy or anything. Just, you know what I'm saying? Do it. You know, saying if you do too good of a job, I'm gonna fade. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's do it. Oh, Felix. Yo, my head hurts, bruh. Please bring back this happy beat. This song is causing my allergies to act up. <laughs> that beat. Yo, I can see why this is <laughs> a popular song. If you touch it lightly, it will bounce forcibly if you see it. What do you mean by that? What? If you touch it lightly, it will bounce forcibly if you see it? What? Hey, yo, what are you talking about? Oh, hopefully you're not telling me what I think you're talking about. Here we go with this dude again. What? 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 Let me get a verse. Let me get a verse. Hey, like don't me now. Yes, sir. Yo, this song is crazy. Insane. One of my favorite Stray Kids songs for sure. Um, insane. They Changbin did not waste a single second at the beginning. The flow is insane. I think that the Changbin Tolino beginning uh, was my favorite part of the song. Um, just. <laughs> Mm. 
and this. Ah. Like insane. They all killed it. They, I'm pretty sure, like all of them were like rapping at some point. <laughs> at some point, they absolutely killed it. To be honest, I don't have much to say. Um, my reaction gave it all. They killed it. Um, let's just go straight to the dance practice. Um, because I'm actually very interested to see what moves they came up with for this song specifically. You know what I'm saying? Like Cheng Bin's part at the beginning, that that fast forward is gonna you know, like that's what I come up with, but what are they gonna come up with? Alright, I'm actually really, really <laughs> excited to see this. Let's go. Domino. Oh, you know what? You know what I thought of? Domino, like Domino's pizza. You know what I'm saying? That's what is that why he said pizza at the beginning? Alright, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Let me stop talking. Oh, that's Oh, you got a microphone? I didn't even see him give it to him. Wait, 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 wait. There's no way they did that. There's no way. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. He did the, they did the move. They did it after, but it's delayed. Their moves are delayed, and then they eventually catch up. But it's delayed. Uh, that is dope. And when I, uh, this is, might be a reach, but you know what I'm saying? The domino, you know what I'm saying? One goes first. Ugh. Then the one, other one falls down after. Ugh. So the dance move goes first, Ooh, and then the second, the, then they do it after, delayed. Ooh, it, it, it works! So I'm talking about creativity. Oh! Did you just hit the running gate, bruh? Renegade is insane. I forgot there was a pause. <laughs> Yo, they are insane. I was so intrigued by the dancing that I didn't really say anything. But what they just did right now is probably the dopest thing I've seen. I was wondering if they're going to do it like a type, domino type effect in like a domino line. Because they did it earlier with like, you know, boom. Then they did it. But a domino effect in a line. And they did exactly that. They are insane. Look. And they did. It's like they're falling. That's so cool. That renegade is not cool though. <laughs> I can't handle this song, bro. <laughs> I can't. I know 
You see, I'm I'm the only person who's gonna point this out. I know. Toes are crazy hurting right now. They are like that. You got the toes right here, but the the foot is like this. They're indented like crazy. As soon as he puts his feet upright, his toes are about to be like this. <laughs> like what? <laughs> now I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh, that dance is tough. Yep, there's the footwork. It's a footwork hand song. Who said woo? Someone did it. <laughs> Yo, know, I hate how good they are. I hate how good they are. And and if you heard earlier, you know what I'm saying? My first, my the God's Menu Dance Practice video, I describe it in three ways. A footwork song, a hand movement song, or both. And they had both. They were moving around all over the place. Um, The footwork is insane. The, the hand motions were insane. But the domino effect is what topped it off and made this one of my favorite choreographies. For them to do that, First with the chorus, like the first chorus, doing a move, and then the other ones did it delayed. I thought it was gonna, that's where it was gonna peak. No, they got in the line like a domino, and per like, uh, domino, domino, uh, 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 uh. like at that point, when they were doing it, and at the end, like the last person did it, I did it too. And then you guys did it also. <laughs> like in. <sighs> insane bro i hate i hate how good they are i hate how good they are and i'm literally recording this before look at it's literally it comes out at midnight right and it's literally 9 a.m look at it, it's it's 9 a.m if you can see, that's that's yeji by the way you know what i'm saying yeji you know what i'm saying queen queen it's 907 i still got a good amount of time 15 more hours until this album releases and obviously this is being recorded before that but it's gonna release after it so hopefully the album's good but insane but hey we ain't done yet <laughs> we ain't done yet and by the way for those of you who are watching this wondering you know where's thunderous where's maniac the purpose of a deep dive like for me when i when i do these videos is for me to get into more of their b-sides dance practices and more of their obscure stuff that only real fans really listen to and not just you know people who have only heard the popular stuff um so if you want to see my reactions to those they're on the channel definitely um but today Today, I'm literally, it's the same video. <laughs> we got Shirley Kids Muddy Water. Now, in some of my other reactions, this was recommended to me a lot. Um, so yeah, hey, we got some Muddy Water. That's nasty though, Muddy Water. We got Chengbin, Hyojin, Han, and Felix. I'm assuming this is going to be a rap song. And the way it was, it was described to me, I'm pretty sure that it's a rap song. But I read the comments, it was like a while ago. So, um, let, let's go, let's go. It does not sound like- wait. Oh. Are we up to something mischievous? What are we- what am I- uh, Rain falling on my face, I'm washing off that sweat off Making me cleaner than the dirt on my hot off Suffer from the words you throw at me But makes me tough for energetic young star like me Lost playing in muddy water Looking back at what you said behind my back Doesn't matter cause I'm a winner Strong believer 24 seven with the members Scoring goals like a team player Execute the shadows all around me Call me Demon Slayer Execute the shadows Call me Demon Slayer yeah well they don't they don't really execute shadows but you i was not expecting this i could like the way i remember it was described that it was a rap song but i'm i'm maybe i was wrong maybe i'm i'm remembering wrong yo and i'm kind of confused because felix speaks english well and maybe it's just his accent but like because I've heard, maybe it's just his accent when he's singing or rapping that it's just like, it's so different. Then I'm pretty sure he's Australian, so he has an Aussie accent. I'm I'm pretty sure, um, but I don't know. It like it's not pronunciated well, which it's not a bad thing. I still like it, but like I'm just confused because like 
he speaks English really well with that Aussie accent. So I would expect like an Aussie type accent on this, which I can kind of hear, but like, it's not bothering me. I'm just. I'm just confused. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just confused, but he he killing it. Tough for energetic young star like me. Let's play in muddy water. Looking back at what you said, be on my back. Doesn't matter because I'm a winner. Strong believer. 24 7 with the members. Scoring goals like a team player. Execute the shadows all around me. Call me a team slayer. Oh, this is the type of song we're going for. Okay. Let me lower my. I gotta put my chair up. I like I I really really like these types of songs. I don't know if this is the word, but like with these melancholy type beats, I think that's the word. Where it's just like a very very chill type beat, and they're just rapping on it. Put the like. I like, I love songs like these. Okay, I just wanted to say that his, 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 um, pronunciation sounded better there. His pronunciation didn't sound bad at the first part. It just, it just threw me off a little bit. Threw me off a little bit. Just from seeing clips when he's speaking normally in English. I'm not like flaming him or whatever. I'm just, I was just confused. This is not the song I was expecting, and I like that. I'm interested in how Chang Ben and Han's gonna be on this. Oh my! I'm really trying to pay attention to the. Oh, he was about to go crazy. My bad, my bad, Han. I was just trying to pay attention to the lyrics. The stagnant waters piled up. The main culprits of the fairly murky water pollution rush down. I'm mad confused. Um, I, maybe it's like a not a metaphor, but like. Um, the water is like a th uh, uh, a metaphor for something, or, or I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused about the muddy water, but I, I gotta let me pay attention more. He was about to go crazy. The difference, the difference in how Felix did it and how Hyojin Phil does it is obviously because Felix has a way deeper voice, but I like that duality. I like it. It's just you have a deeper voice with that with that chorus, and then you have a more higher pitch voice. This is my lifestyle. This is my lifestyle. Hey. Breathing, working, moving. Sit down and listen for once. Booty, going, booty, matter, who it? Need to be more. That's dope. Yeah, their versatility and variety and music is insane. Insane. I thought the song was longer, but this lyric video, they're gonna play the little jingle at the end. Watch. <laughs> insane song. Watch this, watch this. 
Like, I don't want to hear this. Like, who puts that there? They killed it. They killed it. Their variety, because I, I reacted to Three Racha. Three Racha, that drill type song, insane. And then we got Muddy Water, where it's just on that, like, like I said, I don't know if that's the word, melancholy type beat. It's just like a chill beat, that lo fi type beat. They killed it. They killed it. I'm not going to say this is my favorite song or one of my top songs for Straight Kids. But this was an enjoyable listen. Um, I, I definitely want to listen to it a couple more times and see if, you know, I start to like it a lot more. But I do like the song. Um, it's super, super dope. The last thing for the Stray Kids K-pop deep dive is Artist of the Month, Motley Crue, covered by Stray Kids, Hyun Jin. Now, the only Artist of the Month video I ever reacted to was Itzy, Yeji, and Maya. Itzy deep dive. And she killed it. Overall, I like the whole setting, not not setting, but like the, just the aesthetic or whatever you want to call it of this Artist of the Month video, if this is going to be similar to Yeji's. Um, but I just, the camera's like mad crispy and everything. Like, let, let's see, let's see what Hyunjin got. I know this dude can dance. Like this whole thing is just dope. Look how he looks. He has tattoos? Oh, that's dope. Oh my. Wait, what's the song called? Okay. What face did he just make? Oh. Give that. Oh my. That dude is literally the perfect man in Stray Kids. Oh my Yo I got goosebumps I'm not gonna lie His His presence Yo His presence is insane Like absolutely insane The outfit is tough Yo, he looks like mad fierce. What you gonna do? I'm gonna pull up with the crew. When I'm on the drugs, I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. I had a feeling this is post Malone. But what is that transformation? He did, he took a flick. Look at him. Yo, he scares me, bruh. Look. What did I do wrong? It looks at me like I did something. I didn't even want to like push up my chair. He was scaring me. <laughs> he was scaring me, yo. His presence. And I think because people make this comparison. He like, not looks like, but he has the like fierce type look. 
just like Yeji, basically. So I reacted to Yeji Artist of the Month and this one, and they both give off fierce type vibes. And both of them are completely different. But I mean, let me not <laughs> let me stop talking about Yeji's, um, because I already talked about it before. Um, insane. The transitions, the him going with the sound effects like that, that that camera flick. He said, "Cling, cling, cling." I was like, "What?" And then this, like that, when he had his fingers like this, and then he boom, and a transition with the glove, he killed it. And even at the beginning, there was a the part where he like moved his arms like this, and the background dancers died. <laughs> Insane. And to be honest, bro, I was just shocked the whole time. I was in shock. The whole time. Insane. I knew this dude can dance, but he killed it. And I like seeing these uh, idols dance to like s different types of songs. Um, You know, like I would I would never think I would see Hyunjin dance in a Post Malone Motley crew. <laughs> but that's what I just saw. And it's dope because you get to see how that choreography works with that song, which originally doesn't have a choreography. You know what I'm saying? I, I 100% would tell you Post Malone is not coming up a choreography for Motley Crue while he's creating the song. Um, so shout out to MOTF, Biom, Kim, and Heidi Park uh, for for the for uh, coming up with the dance. And then shout out to all these dancers right here. And shout out to Hyun Jin for executing. Um, insane. I will say though, this is the end of the K-pop deep dive for Stray Kids. I know this one, it's, gonna, what, it's like 40, 45 minutes. I know it's shorter than the other ones, um, but I think that not doing the facts at the beginning helps because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to read misinformation. Um, so with that guide that I'm going to react to, it's like 50 minutes or an hour or something like that. That's going to allow me to learn more about them. But yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. I've enjoyed this. I really, really like doing these deep dives that allows me to get uh into more their what's the word discography or some of their work that you know people who only know straight kids from the popular songs will never hear um because I i'm just trying to show that i really really want to get to know these groups and i'm not just reacting to them for views and stuff i really really want to get into stuff that other reactors won't react to um Unless, you know, I'm saying that it gets a lot of views or they react to it when it comes out. This is October 2021. <laughs> I'm mad late. But I, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care. I just want to react to it when I react to it and enjoy it with y'all. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. 